All right, I've taken my brick. Oh, yeah, we're on the island. A sad clown. Sad clown, I am a sad clown. Looking into your sad eyes, it's like looking at my sad soul. It ain't that deep, kiddo. But there's a lot of dialogue about this place. Oh, there's a cherry. A large strawberry. Wow, that's a large strawberry. Such a manly face. I'm Sir Manly Face Strawberry. So descriptive. This is a silly, silly, silly game. Can I call people in the dream? Here she can help. Benny, how nice of you to call. Hi, Mom. Doing well? Yeah, I'm busy working on my project. I'm gonna take breaks, your careers and everything, you know. Oh! They're giving us dialogue in the dream. Love you too, Penny. Remember, we believe in you no matter what. They give us dialogue on the dream. Yo, Penny Cakes. Penny Cakes? Yeah, Penny Cakes. I gotta run, Penny Cakes. Talk to you later. Hmm. Penny, how delightful to hear from you, darling. Hey, Sky, how are you doing? Oh, you know how it is. I'm on another tour promoting my latest air fryer cookbook. I've signed so many autographs, I'm exhausted, darling. Simply exhausted. It's a hard life being as famous and popular as I am. That's great. Seems like things have really been working out for you. Of course, darling. I'm on the vanguard of modern cuisine, after all. Really, darling. It was really delightful talking to you. I must be going. I have a note. I'm a half. I'm a. I'm a have a photo shoot for air fryers quarterly. On the cover story, you know. Very cool. Yes. Quite. We simply must brunch sometime. Ciao. Well, glad she finally got her big break. I'll call Hannah. She might know what's going on. Yes, hello. Hannah, I know we haven't talked in a while, so I'm sorry, but I need some help. Oh, Penny. Why would I care about that? I love it when you call me. Oh, so what's up? I'm on call for the operations team, so I'll be happy to help you. Great. Well, uh, I think I might be stuck in some kind of dream. Can you help me with that? Whoa there, Penny. That's kind of a weird problem, even for the operations team. I can think I can help, though. Yeah, just try talking to everyone. Sometimes twice. Talk to everyone? Yeah. Maybe you'll advance the plot. Then you'll probably wake up. At least that's what the operations team manual says. Okay. It was very helpful. Thank you, Hannah. You're so very welcome, Penny. Have a good night. Oh, what a good friend. Yo, what's up? I'm doing base, doing space stuff. Bye. Oh. It's a flower. Here's to be dancing. That's kind of creepy. Flower. Here's to be dancing. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, this is... What the f... Is that an amoeba? It's a bacterium. You know what? I don't think I want to get near it. Sir, bacterium. Rude. It's a save icon. Wow, a save icon. Disket. Oh, um, actually, I'm a floppy disket. A what? Oh, a ruler. Measuring stick of some sort. Millimeter. I'm a millimeter. You seem a lot taller than a millimeter. Yes, I am more than a millimeter, but I'm also a millimeter. I don't think that's how millimeters work. What? Appears to be a big pile of fluff. A nice, soft pile of fluff. I could just roll around this for hours. Hey, personal space. Ah, sorry. Some kind of brass instrument. 
Nice. Just gonna let out a happy toot. Toot. This is my favorite part of the game. Mushroom. What a class looking mushroom. In fact, I'm a mushroon. You mean mushroom? No, I mean a mushroon. It's a rock, cool. It's a rock, cool. It's a rock, cool. I am no ordinary rock. Well, you could talk? Oh, look, the ponytail moves when you walk. It's a house. A tiger house. Penny, baby. How nice of you to come visit for once. Oh, you're a tiger champ. Okay. Now I definitely know I'm dreaming. I'm happy to see you too, baby. So me to join your little venture or what? Are you ready to have some fun? Of course. Yeah. I could really use a guy. I know this land upside down, baby. Can we check party? No. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does number last work? Yeah, it does work. That's enough of that. Large strawberry. Wow, it's a large strawberry. Such a manly face. I'm Sir Manly Face Strawberry. So descriptive. Cool and classy strawberry for sure, baby. I wish I could be that cool. A succulent man glistens and brightens the sun. Could it be? A little suck? Is that you? I am succulus, no longer my little. Succulus? Oh, like Hercules. I don't know what that is. You know, like the ancient mythological. Penny, I'm glad to see you. I'm meaning to tell you, Penny. Oh, what is it? There's no way to sugarcoat this. I do not want to listen to your constant complaining any longer. Wait, what? Every time we meet, it's always, I don't want to work this. I'm own so inspired by that. Talk out my feelings with you. You just worked. For even half the time you spent complaining at me. You'd have finished your project three times by now. I can't believe this. It's possible you lack motivation. Go to the gym. Your gains will keep you motivated. You, you don't know me at all. I can't believe I'm being treated like this by my closest confidant. Little suck, I trusted you. It's succulus. I raised you, I watered you, and kept you in indirect sunlight. Like, it's so hard to water something once every two weeks. This body you see before you, it was built with daily hard work and discipline. You cannot wait for inspiration. You must stop whining and start doing. I hate you. You know that I'm right. Yeah. Whatever. I don't like him, baby. Want me to rip his throat out? No, it's okay. A sad clown. I'm a sad clown. Look in your sad eyes, like look into my sad soul. I ain't that deep, kiddo. Honestly, that clown's a real downer, baby. Yeah. It's a palm tree. Fluffy koala's rack, laxing among its lush leaves. Psst, wait, baby. It's Mr. Koala. Don't get close to him. He's dangerous. Uh, him? He's a malevolent and evil beast, baby. Really? Are you sure? I... Just believe me, baby. Okay? What happened? It was once upon a time. I just left my tiger home to play with all my jungle friends, including Mr. Koala, or so I thought. Okay. I said hi to Mr. Koala. And he, he... What did he do, Tiger Champ? He dropped a coconut on my head. It hurt a lot. He's the monster, baby. Don't talk to him. 
That was quite a story. Or should we go faster going this way? It's a house. Tiger house. That's right. Where I live, baby. You gonna invite me in? No. Well, okay. It's a present. Whoa. Can I open this? Get your grubby mitts off me. Ah, uh, it talks? Yeah. Be the kiddo. I am for you. Okay. Sometimes you can't judge a press by its wrapper. This is the talking rock. Cool. I'm nowhere near rock. Whoa, you can talk. The rocks can get really chatty here, baby. I don't know if I like that. So, what do you think about Mr. Koala, baby? I hate him. It's a terrible quality. He smells bad. I knew you'd see him my way, baby. Okay, so what now? Be right to battle, as they say. Wait to battle. We're battling Mr. Koala. This tyranny must end once and for all. I'm ready. Evil will lose today. Let me take out my koala sinking missile. I'll cover you. Wait, baby, watch out. No, baby, no. I feel faint. I only see darkness before me. No, Mr. Koala, why? Goodbye, Tiger Chan. No. Hello? Tiger Chan? Ow, my head. Where am I? Is this the office? <laughs> what time is it? It's Sunday night. I slept the entire day at my desk. Oh, no, no. This can't be happening. My project is due tomorrow morning. And I didn't get as many project files I wanted to get done tonight. I should at least have something to get Miss Whiskey by tomorrow. Yeah, solid plan. Let me do this, Penny. Alright, let's, let's save. Think about Tiger Chan. It's a pretty weird dream, though. Must have been really tired. At least my subconscious is feeling creative. Kinda miss Tiger Chan. Why that dream feel so real? I've got such a headache. Dang, I'm parched. I need something to drink. Should probably go to the break and get a cup of water or something. Confront little suck. Oh, good evening, succulus. Yeah, I see you judging me. But you have something to say about me sleeping or sleeping at the office too, don't you? Of course you do. You're worse than my mom. Yeah, well, just because you got hot doesn't mean you're better than me. I turn the other way. I'm just not ready to see you again yet. Oh. A good phone. Check my phone for a bit. Alright. Walk to the main office area. The office is really quiet tonight. It's Sunday night after all. Go on to the break room. I'm in the break room. Well, well, well. Look who showed up. You must be 30, Steve, baby. Huh. Scream. Scream again. Wait, but you... Wait. Huh? You're a tiger champ? In the flesh, baby. Roar. Surprised to see me? Sorry about the whole coconut thing, baby. I got a cup of water for you. Drink up. How's your head? I, uh, that didn't really happen, did it? How is this possible? Well, am I still dreaming? Um, I've got some questions, but of course, baby. I might get rid of her. But you're not real? You're not real. 
Not real. Oh, you're hurting my feelings, baby. The adventure we went on yesterday? It wasn't real enough for you? What, that was real? I'm as real as you are, and you're as real as I am, as they say. They don't say that. Who cares? You're boring me, baby. I'm hungry. You got anything to eat around here? What the heck is going on? Tiger Chan's in the office break room. She's raiding the fridge. Hey, stop that. Your food selection is sorely lacking, baby. Sorry for not stocking the company refrigerator with your favorite meal. How did you get here? So, Tiger Chan, how did you get here? I don't think they have subway stations in the jungle. I traveled here on a magic cloud, baby. First class ticket. Um, okay. That's right. And the in-flight meals are fantastic, baby. For lunch, I had sautés, hopes, served with blue moon sauce and a dash of spring rain. For the side of sleigh bells. I'll have to try that after I save up enough miles. The travel is to live, baby, as they say. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I didn't even know you could leave. Well, baby, we had so much fun yesterday that I figured I'd come up and play with you some more. I felt bad that Mr. Koala bonked you in the head with a coconut. Oh, yeah. But now I know you're A-OK, -okay, baby. Now we can go have some more fun. What are you waiting for? Let's go on an adventure. Roar. Well, I'm C, Tiger Chan, in my world, we have things called work and deadlines. I have a project to finish by tomorrow. I can't go adventuring with you. How boring, baby. No work and no play makes you boring and stupid, as they say. And that's not what they say in all in all place how I got in this mess in the first place. It's okay, baby. I can help you out. We can get expired together. That's flirting. Okay. Hmm. The coffee's still there. Still smells okay. Yawn. Know, it really is some caffeine about now. It'll help you work, maybe. Well, here we go again. I'll just pour myself a cup. That's gross, baby. Don't drink that. I mean, I drank some last night. It was okay. Why do I care what Tiger Chan thinks? She's not even real. I heard that, baby. That only just proves it. I didn't say it out loud. You just think really loudly, that's all. I can read your face like a book, as they say. Anyway, I guess I'm drinking coffee after all. You should be thanking me, baby. Hm. You go back to the main office. And it's the office. Still too quiet, still kind of creepy. It's a lot of desk game is so open. Must get pretty loud in here. It really does, and there's no privacy. Then again, if I worked all alone in a private office, I'd probably just spend more time drawing comics of you anyways. That seems way more important than whatever you're doing now, baby. I know, right? The office. Really quiet and spooky here tonight. Normally it's bustling with people. So what do you do here at the office, baby? That's super important meaningful work, as they say. Um, well, I draw <laughs> illustrations for international communications. That means... Let me stop you right there. I want to keep imagining your work is super important meaningful. I'm sure it's true. Yeah, I mean, it's cushy and low-pressure job. It pays the bills. So low-pressure. Why are you working your project over the weekend? You got a point. And then again, this project is for an operation team initiative that. Let me stop you right there, baby. Yeah, well, if I could draw comics about you all day, I would. Make it happen, baby. Look at desks. There's so many desks here. I think it might be mostly operation team desks, though. My team is mostly in the corner over there. But we can snoop around and see what they really do. There's no one here to stop you. I don't think that's an honest thing to do. Then again, they all see something interesting to inspire me for my project. You know all the help I can get at this point. Snoopity snoop. 
Yeah, I'm not stealing anything. No one's gonna know. Whoops. You're living such a dangerous life, baby. Roar. Anyway, hmm. Oh, what's this? There's a small bulk of lid in the cabinet drawer. Let's take a closer look. Air Fry with Sky Monthly. By Sky. The Sky made this. I didn't know she was making zines. But she was printing these out at work. I'll have to read through it later. Wait a minute, a zine about air fryers? Why does that feel so familiar? Because that's... Sky worked her magic. Zines about air fryers? I should tell Sky about this. You should say shrug out loud. Shrug. Check out that mysterious hallway. It's a mysterious door. Call. Sky. Wonder how Sky's doing tonight. Beep. Hi, Ben. Hey, Sky. Just wanted to catch up. I thought we already caught up just yesterday. Not that I mind the conversation. Yeah, I mean, lots of stuff can happen in a day. Even though I slept through most of mine. Still putting all to your work? Ouch. So how's your project going? Through tomorrow, right? Hope you're almost done. Yeah, I'm making some progress. Well, that's good. Yeah. Anyway. So. Your Zine. So, um, actually, I found a copy of the first issue of Zine here at the office. Huh? My Zine? Yeah. Air Fryer with Sky Monthly. I know he had such a creative side. Mm, yeah. Actually, I did make a bunch of designs about air fryers to give out to my local community. You know, to promote air fryers, build a community. <laughs> and share my passion and talk about cooking show and stuff. Articles and reviews and recipes. True meaning of frying with air. So you're making is distributing your own publications? That's right. I want to celebrate quitting the company by expressing my creative side and having some fun with my hobby. Oh, that's great. Were you making them at the office? You should give me one. Hmm. Actually, didn't start making those till after I left. Huh? Then who? That's interesting. Where'd you find it? I found it next to your old desk, so I assumed it was yours. Next to my desk, but that would mean... No, that can't be right. What is it? No, don't worry about it. I'm okay. I guess you should put it back. Someone might miss it. It is a collector's item, after all. Well, maybe one day it'll be. All right. I don't think this is a coincidence. I should ask Sky about the presentation I saw earlier. So. I know you didn't want to talk about Zinebot 6000. But I saw some weird new info at the office and I want to talk to you about it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Apparently Zinebot 6000 being developed by a team called Creative Automations. It's being built to mass produce signs about air fryers. You know anything about that? It seems really specific. With the copy of your sign I found, it's not a coincidence. Yeah, I might have an idea. It's hard for prying, but can you tell me more about it? I guess it's a bit of a long story. You might have heard of Zinebot 5000. It's the previous version of Zinebot 6000, I guess. It's a little bit after I quit the company. Like I told you earlier, I made a bunch of signs about air fryers to give out to my local community. I want to promote air fryers, share my passion, talk about my cooking show and stuff. I wrote articles, recipes, reviews, you name it. I wanted to show everyone the true joy of the air frying life. And it gave me a chance to show off my creative side and have some fun with my hobby. Yeah, so cool. Hey, well, Boyle Blythe, being who she is, still mad about me quitting the company embarrassing her. She had a robot built. So it generate thousands of zines on Sky to the Zion business. Oops. Generate thousands of zines about air fryers. There were projects going on on me at the time for automating other work. So I'm guessing she reproduced it just to make me miserable. That was Zinebot 5000. Yeah. She used it to flood my local community with low-quality zines copied from my own work. 
Now everyone associates my zines with that crap. Oh no. On top of that, because Zine bought 5,000 for that data about my whole life, it quit the company to make an online air fryer cooking show, just like I did. It's a cheap knockoff my show, and still gets way more attention than me. Now Zion bought 5,000, the country's air frying sweetheart. People think I'm the one imitating it. I'm the original, damn it. It's built using my own work. How am I supposed to compete with that? It just turns out thousands of videos every week. Anyway, I can't really believe you guys are making another one. I didn't know all that. Not fair. So Zinebotster is a robot that generates crappy fryer designs about air fries just to spite you specifically. But you told me the new version will be more of the same, but faster and better. That's blithe for you. He has the entire company working on this. What a sad use of technology. I don't even want to make money with my designs. I just wanted to share my love for air fryers with the world. Designs are about personal expression and sharing of topics that niche communities care about, giving a voice to anyone who wishes to have one. Zineback goes against everything Zines stand for. There's no love or passion behind it. It's all just a cynical money and power grab. He doesn't even know what an air fryer is. He doesn't technically know anything. It can't even taste food. How would it know the pot crispy goodness that a freshly air fried batch of Sky's famous cheesy fries? You know the sheer joy of air frying leftover pizza and a tasting better known as first to lip. You are passionate. Can it feel the difference in texture of mozzarella? Sticks air fry with avocado oil versus sunflower oil? <sighs> my cooking show is my way of trying to make a living doing what I love. But I'm failing miserably there too. I want to blame Zimba 5000. Maybe I'm the stupid one for thinking I can monetize and live off my hobby. Anyway, I probably shouldn't burn you, burn you with my personal problems. I don't know. Thanks for sharing with me. So, um, I also read something about a phase two. Oh, anything about that? Uh, not really, but I can guess. Probably related to creative automations. Creative automations? Yeah, I've heard rumors about a branch of the corporation's work trying to build systems to automize away our creative teams. That's one of the many reasons I grew disillusioned with the company and quit. Oh yeah, I remember her talking about this before. This whiskey mentioned it too. I didn't realize it'd be like this. But I don't really know the specifics, so I don't think I can really help you there. That's okay. You're a lot of help in any case. Thanks for talking with me about this. Yeah, honestly, I'm personally pretty sad that you're part of the project altogether. I know you're just doing your job. I'd say good luck, but I'm rooting for the whole project to fail miserably. Sorry. Yeah, I get it. So. Operations team door? So, you know anything about the weird operations team door in the mysterious hallway on our floor? And it really didn't mm, like me trying to get in by guessing the passcode. Yeah, of course I know what it is. Doesn't really have anything to do with your project, though. Oh, okay. So you really can't tell me anything about it? I'm probably bound by an NDA. I see. I'll leave it alone then. Who knows? Maybe you'll find out when you least expect it. Like while you're walking around or sitting and working on your project or something. Not a good one. You're just trying to get me to hurry up and finish my project. Well, I do hate to see you struggling. Yeah. So. Anything new? Uh, I guess I'd have got out of bed today. That's good. Yeah. Went out and got a burger. I just walked around for a bit. Pretty good after that. Great. I enjoyed being outside and being in the moment. I should do it more often. I should do that too. So. That's all you got? Okay, so. I think that's it for now. Yeah, okay. Talk to you later. Yep, see you. I should call it more often. That was a roller coaster of emotions. Guy, I feel kind of terrible about this. After hearing your tragic story about Zinebot 5000, I feel inspired. I gotta get back to my desk to draw my idea. After we draw it out, I think I'll take a break. Alright, 
Here we go. Time to draw. Okay. Hmm. A little more. Add the apron. Got it. Air fry with Zinebot 6000. Is it the bad ending to shoot the stun? Air fry with. I'm sorry, Sky. Why does she love air fryer so much, baby? Why does anyone love anything? Anyway, I don't really get it either, but I respect her passion. Zinebot air fryer PSD. I three files done. That was pretty terrible. What light did the sky? Makes me wonder whether it's okay to keep doing this. I mean, I do still need this job. Hmm. Got an achievement for Air Fry with Sky. Inspired by a friend. We got two more advertisements. Show her around. Check how our friend's doing. But this is where I'm taking a break. Seems like a good stopping point to me. And I'll see you all next time.